check this out. All these relays are controlling by only using 3 pins from the ESP01 module. In a previous video, I showed you how I made this 12 channel home automation project using ESP32 module, which used almost all the available GPIOs. The video link is given in the cards and in the video description. While working on that project, it got me thinking, what if we need to add more relays or basically more outputs? One common solution will be to use an IO expander module which mostly uses SPIRI square C protocols. These modules provide additional GPIOs. And to make things even more interesting, I'll be using this tiny ESP01 module, which has only two GPIO pins, excluding UART port. And this doesn't include standard SPIRI square C bus. So what are the other options? During research, I saw some people have taken their soldering skill to another level, just to extract a few IO pins. You can always use another microcontroller, with a lot of GPIO pins, and communicate with it via serial communications, as shown by Sachin Sony on his channel, Techie SMS. Still we are limited by the available GPIO, on that microcontroller. Opni can use this. I mean, not the LED, but the chip inside it. This, is WS2811IC, that makes the RGB LED, addressable. Each IC can control three output channels, and can be daisy-chained. This enables us to control lots of RGB LEDs, by using only one data pin, from the microcontroller. Now the question is, does the IC can drive LEDs only? To answer that, we first need to look into the datasheet. As mentioned here, it can deliver only 18.5 mA of current, which is enough for driving a small LED, but not enough to drive a relay. Luckily, all relay modules come with a built-in driver circuit, which consists of an optocoupler, and a transistor and it only requires high or low signals, to turn on and off the relay. So basically we are switching the LED, inside the optocoupler to make it work. Keeping that in mind, I designed this tiny PCB, which contains AWS 2811 ICs. So we will get a total 24 outputs, but as I mentioned earlier, you can connect more of this ICs, if required. Then I head over to PCBWay, which is one of the best PCB manufacturers. They have recently initiated a new contest related to PCB designing tutorials, in which you can participate and win amazing prizes. They have constantly supported me for my projects, and I always admire their amazing quality and dedicated services. After a few days I received the PCBs, at my doorstep. This is how the PCB looks. Let's start assembling. After assembling, the board looks like this. After adding the header pins it is ready for testing. The module is breadboard friendly, so you can put it on a breadboard. First I added 12 LEDs to test the circuit. To add the ESP01 module, I am using this DIY breadboard adapter. I am using example codes, from the fast LED library, to test it. Which seems to be working perfectly. Then I replaced the LEDs with relays. I am using a 16 channel relay module for demonstration. Here is the code for the project. It is based on fast LED library. I modified it, so that it can easily control the individual outputs. You need to mention the number of ICs, and the pin number, it is connected to. Everything else is handled by these two functions. For example, to turn on an output high, use out.on, followed by the output number and out.off to turn it off. As simple as that. 
Let's connect it to the Blink app. I have explained in details, how to set up the Blink app, in the previous video. So I will recommend you to watch that video, to know more. Then I added the Blink program, and uploaded it to the ESP01 module. And as you can see, we are successfully able to control all these relays, using only one data pin from the microcontroller.